A while ago I had a project about using one of these FM radio transmitter or car modulator or a car, uh, I don't know, player, FM player, to use it for an in-ear monitoring system. In the meantime, there was a lot of controversy about the latency and about uh, the real time in between the signal from the microphone, let's say, or from a mixer to the radio and then, of course, into the headphones, in-ear headphones. I decided to have another experiment about that and I'm gonna use two channels this time, recording in the same time, absolutely in the same time, and I'm gonna have on one channel a direct signal from a microphone and in the other one a signal through this radio emitter to my analog radio here so we're gonna have a clear idea about latency if there is any latency and of course then I'll use my phone like a radio receiver to have a, a proof that there is no latency this is pure FM modulation it's instantly what I'm doing now is to have a proper 12 volt connector it's already done let's check it out of course and it's working you see the point is that this kind of uh, FM modulator or radio transmitter it have a line input so this is a must there is no other way to have an audio signal from a mixer let's say into this one if you don't have a line in just forget about I don't know what kind of chip is here because everything is under a resin or something so uh, all we can do is just to experiment of course it's reading from uh, from a USB stick and also from a micro SD card but I don't need that for now because I all I need is the line input so finally the setup uh, has been done one of the channel it's uh, directly from the mixer and the other channel it's coming through the radio in the sound card and of course here is the transmitter on 108 megahertz FM and uh, of course I don't want to I don't want to say that is a high quality or any kind of uh, hi-fi signal but you see there so they are in perfect synchronization there is no doubt about we gonna we have the I think is the left channel directly from the mixer and the right channel is through the radio now let me turn the radio off so the radio it's off now and I have only the mixer channel on recording okay now I'm turning the radio on of course it's all this fees and his but that's also because there are a lot of uh, radio pirates how can I say the radio generators around here uh, like uh, laptop and uh, everything is generating radio sounds here these are two signals one straight from the mixer coming through this wire in here I had to do an improvisation because that uh, splitter I showed you before it's not good it's not working so I had to do an improvisation here you see this is the this is the cable from the mixer directly from the mixer in here one channel and the other one is going into the radio so I may say this is a perfect synchro now I want to do another test to be sure about the things and uh, let's see if a mobile phone is doing the same job okay so uh, this is the radio on 108 megahertz same as the modulator here the transmitter and I can say that it's even better it's even better than the radio 
it's much much more quieter I can say I can even do something like this now I'm turning off the signal to the radio so it's only the signal from the microphone straight from the mixer to the right channel and the left it's still the radio but we've no but we've no microphone signal in and here we have the radio and I can even put the volume up you see like this and I think this is wonderful so for everybody who have doubts about the perfect synchronization between the uh, little uh, RF uh, or FM modulator and analog or pure FM radio this is the answer I think the experiment is successful this is a living proof that the system is working thank you for now I'll uh, be back with some other experiments as soon as I have new stories to say don't forget to like and subscribe and if you feel like please comment and ask question I'll do the best to answer them see you soon don't forget to have fun bye bye